Hey Sand fans and Dunatics, Sand Phil here. Well hey, today we are going to go back working on the Sportsman 500 HO. Today let's see if we can't get it to at least turn over. I got a new solenoid in for it, so uh, let's put that on and see maybe if we can't work some of the, the wiring out. Alright, let's get going. Alright, I guess before we get going too much, we should probably open this box up and see if the one that we got is any better than this. It's different looking, but we'll see if it won't work. Yeah. I'm going to clean up these wires too. They're pretty nasty. So. I'm going to clean these up and I'll be right back with you because that's not the right socket either. Tell you, I think this fusible link's on the wrong side. But shouldn't it be on this side? Because you want power from the battery to turn it on. Uh, Seems wrong to me, but this is how they had it, which that may be our whole problem. <laughs> Okay, let me grab the battery and see what we got. What do you think, bud? Did we get it right? Or is it still messed up? You like this one? Sorry, I was talking to my dog. Well, 
Battery's hooked up, no explosions, that's good. Alright, I'm going to turn the key and see if we got anything up here. We got nothing up here. I'm telling you, I think that fusible link thing is on the wrong side. Because it should be on the battery side, I would think, so it can get power. Alright, I'm going to unhook the positive first. I don't know what's going on with the dogs. They've been barking all day. There's nothing out there. Every time I go out there, there's nothing there. So. There must be a cat or something roaming around. Take my word for this because uh, I have no idea. I'm just going to try this and see if we get something. So I'm going to put the fusible link on this side because in my brain that's where it should go because you, you got to have power up the switch for this thing to start. And if, gonna touch this to it and see if something happens. Same thing, nothing. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna do some investigation and I will be back with y'all shortly. Well, okay everybody, I'm sorry. I had to take a break because this was driving me nuts. Um, but I finally figured it out. Um, yeah, uh, so I thought the wiring was really messed up and what happened was is this new solenoid that I ordered is bad. It sticks uh, when you turn it on and it, it, the starter stays on. Now, here's some other stuff I found out. Okay. The guy we bought this off of completely wired this solenoid up wrong, okay? And just so you guys know, on this particular Polaris, this is how this wires up. I don't think this is the original solenoid that came on it anyway. So here's, here's the way it works. I'm going to show you on this, on this one that doesn't work. Okay, this red wire right here needs to go to this wire right here that has the white with the red stripe on it. Okay, now I have another red wire that comes out of this wiring loom that someone has spliced a gray, I don't know if you can see it, a gray wire on it right here. That was my main problem. I thought, I was looking at the wiring schematic and I thought this was a gray wire. I dug around some more and you can see right here maybe where you can see where someone has spliced that to a, from a red wire to a gray wire. That was what was messing me up. Anyway, this red wire, or in our case a gray wire, needs to go to the battery side of this solenoid. Okay, So the solenoid, it runs in here, this wire goes up to the positive side of the battery, the other side runs to the starter, the red wire goes to the white with the red stripe wire here, and then the other red wire goes here. Okay. So that's what we needed to do, but here's what happened, is I hooked this solenoid up the same way, and what happened was, is when I turned the key, you couldn't turn it off, it just kept turning the motor over with the starter, just non-stop, to where I had to unplug the battery from this to get it to quit. So that one's bad, the old one's back on it, now I'm going to move the camera and I'll show you that we got it working. Okay everybody, check this out. So. Now, when you go up here to the key, put the key in, there's your on position, 
But now watch, when you turn it, it turns over. So now we've got the wiring straightened out. And I think that's where we're going to call it on this video. Well, okay, everybody, that was kind of a fail, sort of. I mean, um, that just goes to show you, sometimes you order new parts and they're bad, too. So, um, the, it's just, a, this whole Polaris has been kind of a weird deal. From buying it, you know, that was a weird story to everything that's gone on so far. Um, but I think we finally straightened all the wiring out, at least to turn over at the switch. Um, the headlight doesn't come on, and the speedometer's got some issues. But, um, you know, that's just the stuff you're going to find when you, when you buy a $500 four-wheeler. Um, the next video, we're going to work on the carburetor and see if we can't get this thing to turn over, and maybe we can get it to start. So, stay tuned. I've still got a bunch of stickers. You know, they look just like this. Uh, if you guys will send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the P.O. box below, um, I will send you some free stickers. Uh, please check out Drew over at Village Tactical. Uh, without Drew, none of this stuff would be possible. Uh, anyway, his uh, link there's a link to his website down below also. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe, share, um, do all the stuff you should do. Um, I'd sure appreciate it. It definitely is going to help the channel and me out. Um, anyway, this is going to be Sandfill out. Be safe on the dunes. Bye.